Hi, I'm Steve Purcell from M60 Media and today I'm celebrating. I'll tell you why after this short intro. So I'm celebrating because over the weekend I hit a milestone figure with YouTube. I got 100 subscribers. And I know that's not a massive amount of subscriptions to your channel, but I'm really pleased with it. So thank you if you do subscribe to this channel. And if you do here and you don't subscribe, why don't you take a moment to consider it? Go on, I'll wait a minute. Go on. You've subscribed. Thank you very much. Did you hit the notification bell? Good, thank you. So to celebrate, I'm giving away my transition pack for Adobe Premiere Pro. And it's, um, it's really a simple transition pack to use. I use it in most of the videos which I create. And I'd like to give it to you for free. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can download it. And I'm going to show you just a few of how they, they work within Adobe Premiere. So let's get on with the tutorial. So that was just a quick sequence showing you a few of the transitions included in this pack and what we're going to do now is import the pack into Premiere Pro. So we're going to go to the menu at the top into effects, click on effects and then in the effects panel at the top we've got presets. We're going to right click presets and import presets. Navigate to where you've saved the file to. As you can see, I've saved to the desktop, Steve Purcell Transitions. Highlight that, click Open, and the transition pack will be included in your effects. So all these transitions work in a very similar way. There's just three little differences included with them. So the first one I'm going to show you is the blurred lines. And this is really simple to do. We get our two clips and all we need to do is to trim, is to cut those two clips anywhere. It doesn't matter. You don't have to count the frames or anything. And this is really just simple. For the first clip, which is there, my nested sequence one, where I've cut at the end, is drag blurred lines clip one onto the piece I've cut and blurred lines clip two onto the next clip. We'll just preview through that. And that's really that simple. Really easy to do that transition. And the next transition I'll show you is going to be the Luma fade. And all we need to do with that is the clip we're going to fade into, we need to move over around 15 frames. So go to the end of the clip and then it's just measure your 15 frames. Make a cut in the clip you're going into and simply this is the dark luma fade. Just drag that onto the sequence. And that's how simple that is. Now these next transitions are slightly different. We need to use an adjustment layer on these and they all work exactly the same apart from the zoom in and the zoom out. I'll show you the differences with those. I'm gonna start with the, uh, the spin clockwise. So if you click over it, it's telling me it's 20 frames, 10 frames to the left and 10 frames to the right on the adjustment layer. So what I need to do is count out 10 frames left and right. 5, 10, make a cut and go back the other way. 5, 10, 5, 10, make a cut. Then add an adjustment layer. So just click on new item and then adjustment layer. Just click OK with everything. Drag the adjustment layer over and then cut that to the size. You can delete the other piece. And then all we're going to do is for the spin clockwise is we need to drag that onto the adjustment layer. And then when we go into the effects at the top, we have adjustment layer and this will tell you the different ways to use this. 
So you apply it to both frames for everything except for the zoom in and the zoom out. So I need to drag this adjustment layer to the left and right clip. So that's on the left, that's on the right. Then we just preview. Take a little time for it to render. And there's your spinning transition. Now the difference for the zoom in and zoom out is it's less frames, it's six frames on either side. So I'm going to delete these. Go to where the transition is going to begin and count six frames. Five, six, make your cut. Go back, five, six, five, six, make your cut. Once again, add the adjustment layer, trim that to the size. And here I'm going to do the zoom in. So as I say, it's, it's 12 frames, six on the left and six on the right. So we drag the zoom in to the adjustment layer. And then again, we click onto the top one, which says adjustment layer within the transitions. And for zoom in, we apply it only to the right side video. So I just drag that down to the right hand side video. Obviously, if we're doing a zoom out, it would be you apply it to the to the left side video only. And then we'll preview that. And there's your zoom in. So that's just a few examples of the transitions included in the pack and the links in the description so you can go and download that transition pack. If you found this useful and enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you know anyone else who would find these transitions useful or, or use them and enjoy the video, please share it because I'd like to grow the channel more now. Um, my new target is a thousand subscribers and I can't do that without your help. So I would really appreciate any help you can do by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. So thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.